Fonda Younger is with us. Hello, Fonda. Well, good morning. Good morning to you. And we were discussing things. I know a lot of Fonda's family and things. Yeah, and, and so, anyway, we were just having a good time before we ever went on the air here. But uh, Fonda is uh, the choir director, I guess is how we would put you, or the director of the Mountain Valley Voices Choir. That's right. And uh, tell us, I know I've read a little bit about how the, it started and everything, but tell us a little bit about how the, this choir, the Mountain Valley Voices, uh, was put together. It was put together, Tim, after a couple of years at Christmas with employees singing at our Christmas party and dinner. And the employees got so busy with taking care of patients and clients that we decided we would start the choir with volunteers. And we started with one lady, Miss Polly Scales up in Ararat, Virginia, and she and I stuck it out for a few weeks until we had some other folks begin to join us. And down through the, the last 10 years, we've had people come and join the choir until we're about 35 right now in membership. Wow, well that's a good sized choir. It is a good sized choir. It is, and so you've been doing it for now for 10 years. 10 years. It doesn't seem that long at times. And I look back and I think 10 years ago, there was two of us. Wow. Well, you know, when you start doing work the Lord sometimes you know things just <laughs> he just sort of takes over and things just multiply <laughs> he does and he did multiply yeah it took a little while but it began to increase greatly mm -hmm. and he has blessed this choir when uh, the members of this choir now uh, if I was reading through uh, some of this uh, most of them are all over the age of, of 60 Yes, we're all over the age of 60. I wasn't going to include you. You didn't have to tell your age. <laughs> well, I would have to, so they would get upset with me if I didn't okay. tell them. I was in that group, too. Okay. So they're all over 60. and they come, Where do they come from, all the, the areas? Here? All over Surrey County and Southern Virginia. Uh, we have members from Pilot Mountain. We have Polly, of course, up in Ararat, mm -hmm. and all across, all the way down to uh, almost Elkin mm -hmm. from the greater Dobson area. So we just mm -hmm. come from all over people that enjoy singing and sharing the gospel with and this group. you guys, now you are, you do go out and I know you've been to our church at, at Bannertown Baptist Church where I go. Yes. Uh, and, and you uh, go out to different churches and do different events, don't we, you? We sure do, Tim. We go to churches to do whatever events, fifth Sunday night singings, mm -hmm. revival services, uh, sometimes a birthday party for someone. Mm -hmm. We've done a little bit of this and that. And I, this year I think you were at the tree lighting we were. Uh, yeah. That was our first, and it was an enjoyable event. Yeah. I had I had not been to one myself, uh -huh. but when we got there, it was so exciting. Cold, but exciting. Oh, it's been colder. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you yeah, and you guys do a great job. Uh, how how often do you rehearse? We rehearse about once a week. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, there'll be a week we don't rehearse, but our practices are usually once a week on Wednesdays at four o'clock and we practice at Flat Rock Baptist Church. They've been gracious enough to let us use that facility in their choir room. Well now, uh, what what does it take to be a member? If You, if you said there's volunteers. You yes. have to be a hospice volunteer or, or what does it take to become, if they, someone wanted to become a member? If they want to become a member, they just contact me and mm -hmm. we will put them in touch with the volunteer services application, which is very for a choir member, it's not as intense as it would be if you were going to be a patient care volunteer and just have a, a joy wanting to sing and share a gospel with different people in our facilities around the areas and uh, come in and join us and have a good comradeship. This group has really become a good close-knit group. So uh, if anyone is interested, they can let me know. And uh, that joy is a good thing because uh, when you're singing, you need to be happy. You do. We do a lot of laughing, <laughs> whether we're singing or whether we're just sitting around practicing. We have a lot of fun and do a lot of laughing and singing together. Yeah, most choirs I've been around do. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah, and uh, well, anyway, uh, I've heard you guys. You do a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank and, you. And about how many times a week you go out and, and, and do any? Uh, it will depend on the time of year, mm -hmm. and now that the CDs come out, we already have about four or five things coming up between now and, the, and probably end of April. Mm -hmm. uh, churches have been contacting me this week and asking for this and that on certain services and nights, and so it's probably a four times a month, I would guess, average. Right, on the yeah. average. 
Yeah, because I know that if, you, if you're not careful, you can actually do a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. We have had to turn down a few because we were too busy, especially during the end of the year when folks want us for Christmas yeah. events. So, yes. And uh, I know uh, you talked about the CD. And uh, tell us about this, how long it, it, you've been working on this. And I know it just came out. It did. And uh, so, so tell us about the Mountain Valley Voices uh, CD. The CD has been a, a project in mind for quite a few years. And when Josh came to me and said, let's get to work on promoting a CD and work on it this year, uh, he made the contacts. Josh had done all the work behind the scenes for us. And we put it together and started to add actually working on it in September mm -hmm. and it was pretty fast when we got started with rehearsing and putting uh, tracks down and getting all the things together mm -hmm. that's involved in uh, putting together a CD and so we were hoping to get it out before Christmas right. uh, we decided we would hold off until January to promote the 10th year anniversary for the CD we did take uh, the group up to Low Gap uh -huh. To Raven Knob, and yeah. uh, that's the picture on the front of the CD cover. Yeah, I see uh, it says Low Gap Hilton. On yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the Low Gap Hilton. <laughs> that was an interesting day of photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I noticed I was looking through the credits at the recording room yes. in, in Mount, Mount Area. That was uh, Robert Vogler and Vogler. John Rees and, uh, mm -hmm. with John's studio. It, it, yeah. Wonderful time there. I ran into John yesterday by, oh, great. by just by accident. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, you know, I noticed uh, Rick Caudle uh, doing some work on he this, did. this too. Uh, yes, Mount A Christian Church allowed us to do some recording mm -hmm. there, and he helped out a lot with that. Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, I, and the proceeds of this, I, I noticed that the uh, sales are benefiting some of the hospice patients. Yes, they are. Uh, we have patients who, for some reason, either by age or by circumstance, they have no way of uh, paying for their hospice care if they're under the age of 65. Uh, they need help, and so that's what the proceeds from this CD will go for. Indigent patients, those that cannot pay, that don't have insurance coverage, and they need assistance. Right, so that's great. Thanks, so the money's going to help people sure. in the area. Absolutely, too. that's what we wanted to do with it. And uh, so, and this, because you guys now, I noticed there are certain days you don't go out and, and sing because I know your choir members are generally a church involved too. They are. So there, there are uh, certain days you do not go out and sing, like Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings we do not. We don't go out on Wednesday evenings. Mm -hmm. We try to respect our choir and our own folks' involvement in our churches. So everybody in the choir is involved in their own facilities and churches and things that they do. Mm -hmm. So we allow them that freedom. I think it's a great thing you're doing. Thank I really you, did that Tim. Mountain Valley uh, Hospice itself is doing, and you as a director, and I noticed uh, when the choir sings that they do have fun. We do have fun. We honor the Lord in the, our music, but we also have fun with it. I feel like the Lord himself laughs a lot at us. When <laughs> He's he bound looks, to. <laughs> He's got to, and he looks at me and you. <laughs> He's got to look down so can, oh, man. <laughs> He's done it again, you know. <laughs> That's correct. Mm -hmm. And Tim, I might add, uh, I'd like to add that the title of this album is Sounds of Home. Mm -hmm. We try to bring the music that folks have learned and listened to through the years in their church. Mm -hmm. And if they're in a facility, they don't get that opportunity as much. Right. So we like to bring that back so that they can sing with us when we're out there. Uh, songs that are very familiar, The Church in the Wildwood and mm -hmm. uh, Beulah Land and Amazing Grace and How Great Thou Art. Songs like that they can connect with. and So we decided to put the title to the album Sounds of Home, and that idea came from a, a volunteer that's worked at the resale shop when it first began putting stuff together. That's Miss Lisa Cook, and uh, I appreciate that very much and want to applaud her for giving us the title. Well, then uh, I, what that reminds me, we need to tell people, because I know when you exactly. guys go out, and saying you're going to have the CDs, but we need to let people know where they can get them. If they want to go out after this and, and purchase one, where can they get one? Yes, they can get one at the resale shop, which is located in the shopping center with Ollie's, mm -hmm. uh, right there off of Renfro Street in mm -hmm. uh, Independence. So uh, we've got uh, folks coming through uh, the Mount A area. They can stop at that shop mm -hmm. and visit. Uh, they are closed on Mondays and Sundays, but they're open the other days of the week. You can get one at any of our Mountain Valley office, uh, offices and locations. 
at the Mount Airy, Pilot Mountain, at the Wilts Hospice Home in Dobson, uh, at our offices in Virginia. And if they can't find it, uh, they can call us or they can go and uh, download it. Josh can uh, give a little bit of info on that if uh, he has a, a point you can download it. Yeah, Can't you, uh, Josh? Yeah, step over here, Josh, and <laughs> tell us uh, where they can get it online. Certainly. Uh, you can actually buy this on iTunes mm -hmm. or Amazon, um, Google Play. If you want more info, you can go to our website, too, which uh, I think you have the URL there, but it's Mountain Valley Hospice. Yeah, that's mtnvalleyhospice.org slash voices. Right. Great. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Uh, and if you have, if you want to contact uh, Fonda, uh, you can call 336-789-2922. That's correct. And uh, Fonda can uh, give you more information about this. And email is fyounger at mountainvalleyhospice.org. Correct. And you can go to that and find out more about it. Well, Fonda, thank you so much. Thank for being you, Tina.